Hello Valtha, I thought I would just give you a quick video explanation of what you're trying to do. <clears throat> so you can do what you want to do with the range um, function. Let me just show you very quickly in a compose and then I'll do it in a select. So if I do an expression range zero to length, the dynamic content, the values, you'll see that my Excel document here has got like 100 rows. So that now generates me a sequence of numbers you probably want that to start from one, but zero will equally work. But that range is no good to you because it's just a list of numbers. So let's just get rid of that. Then we'll go into a select action. And then the from will be that range expression. And then we can go ID. And then the ID will just be item. Or you can do string item if you want that converted to a string, but I'm just going to leave it as item. And then we need the values from our table. So mine is called customer. So I'll put in customer over here. And this side, I'm still going to go value. I'm going to get that outputs list value. And then I'll pick which array element I want. And that will simply be item. And that will be zero in this case, which should be the first record. And then I can do customer. And then the next one, invoice amount. And the final one, date, which is going to bring it out wrong actually. It's going to come out as a serial number, but it doesn't matter. We can convert that if we wanted to. Oops, I put that in the wrong place. Save that and see if it works. Okay, so it's just customer invoice amount. Oh, I've got a spell mistake in it. She spelled it wrong in two places. Let's try that again. And there we are. So you've got now all the records with an ID next to them. That first one, you might not want to appear as zero. So what you could do is just say add one and then run it again. And then it'll be pushed up by one number. There we go. And that should be what you want. See how you get on. Cheers. Bye-bye.